Oh. Hello, lovely people. So, I will guide you today uh, through the um, subject Yoni Massage. And uh, yes, we divided this lecture uh, about uh, it uh, into few things. So, um, We'll talk about um, what is the yoni healing a little bit, uh, just to give you a little bit of clue um, about yoni massage. And then uh, we will guide you through uh, tantric uh, yoni, yoni anatomy. Uh, we will use uh, the drawings many those. We will explain everything, uh, all the different uh, orgasmic points. And then um, uh, we will uh, give you uh, exact instructions step by step how you do the uh, yoni massage uh, part of the neotantric massage yes and then uh, you uh, 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 we will give you also into the use it don't lose it method just briefly we had uh, all lecture about sacred sexuality and on this subject sublimation bringing it up but we will uh, repeat it, uh, some of you didn't hear it yet, and um, yeah, especially it's also part of the Yoni massage, but also part of the Lingam massage, what will be uh, follow up. So yes, uh, and then uh, we will give you the questions and answers, so please uh, keep your questions and answers uh, for later, uh, let us give you the essence first, maybe in this essence we would... Uh, cover all your uh, uh, questions and um, yes so so that's kind of it we have two drawings uh, we're gonna use uh, so this is the uh, yoni uh, if uh, i would have yoni it would be a, a much bigger picture of the yoni if i hold it like this so yes i will explain you uh, uh, later what uh, this drawing means and this is uh, cut through also the yoni so this is the inside of the yoni also i will explain you later can you lift it when you see it? yeah lift it up yes uh, no no come here come here yes uh, come to i'm not side. gonna uh, be a puppet here <laughs> yeah so it's not a puppet show so make sure if you, you like to come uh, come closer uh, there's a lot also, of space here also i like to be heard uh, you know like so, yeah. so. I don't want to shout. Uh, I do shouting, and my voice here is it may be already. <laughs> so, yes, uh, let's start from the healing of the yoni. Uh, uh, what the yoni massage is? Uh, so, main purpose of the yoni massage is a healing. Uh, it's uh, uh, yoni is uh, the place uh, where most of the sexual trauma, um, some uh, past uh, experiences. Uh, uh, what uh, the woman uh, experience uh, uh, the, the all the emotions all the frozen emotions all the uh, blockages all the armor towards sexuality towards uh, loving your body uh, it's uh, stored there mainly uh, so uh, um, some of you learned uh, before the DR morning massage about the blocking uh, and so so uh, the, uh, yes the harmonic massage we press the points on the torso uh, to release the emotions and so so uh, uh, basically yoni massage is also the same kind of principles we want to release uh, frozen emotions what gathered there but because uh, the yoni was exposed to pain and towards uh, the, the uh, yes uh, unaware um, um, trauma uh, what pain uh, gives uh, then uh, uh, yoni uh, gather especially the G spot is the most healing point uh, so uh, yoni gather all the uh, <coughs> most of the trauma so the basically the massaging the yoni is the most uh, de armoring uh, de blocking massage uh, exists uh, it's also it makes it um, one of the uh, deepest healing mm. So um, uh, most of the trauma, uh, what uh, is in Yoni, is coming from a very often unaware uh, forced uh, insertion while the Yoni was not ready for it. Mm. 
Uh, she was uh, not enough lubricated. Uh, she, w the woman, was not uh, enough excited. The foreplay was too short, and that's the uh, consequences that uh, uh, the young experience uh, too much friction, uh, too much pain, and um, from that pain, uh, it start to uh, put the armor over the sexuality act, uh, penetration, the man. Uh, love making uh, so uh, it put the armor uh, so protection uh, to not to feel that pain and it's uh, felt as a numbness that the woman doesn't feel nothing there so she doesn't feel pain but uh, it means she doesn't also feel pleasure so she just uh, basically lying there and w waiting till it's over and of course this doesn't uh, build the healthy relationship uh, uh, and um, yes, it, it doesn't uplift uh, the woman. So then um, uh, the other thing uh, what uh, uh, the young can develop to uh, basically um, uh, not to feel the pain is over exaggerated pain. But in both cases, the woman withdraw herself from uh, any. Uh, Sexual contact. Uh, every time when uh, the man asks to go to bed, oh, that is like a headache. Okay. So, so it, that's it. Um, um, that's not healthy. Not healthy for her. Not healthy for uh, her relationship. So yes, yeah, some of the women discover that they can heal uh, the yoni through the yoni massage. Uh, uh, what is basically rebuilding the trust. So giving my, uh, many, you know, you can rebuild this trust through giving uh, her enough foreplay. And that's what actually all massage is uh, based on. You know, you give her full respect, full uh, presence. So one of the most important thing what I'm gonna stress uh, at this uh, class, especially when we would go um, into uh, the theory about practice, how to do it, uh, the most important thing in the yoni massage is to give the woman enough foreplay. So all this full body massage, what uh, it's neurotantric massage, it's a preparation to massage the genitals. It's to open the channels, but also to make her excited enough. Uh, uh, also, like uh, before we enter the yoni, we uh, play, we massage all the outside parts of the yoni for a long time enough that the woman usually is very excited and if not then you uh, make her excited you work on her excitement you work on her readiness and you never ever push your fingers in when she is not ready because that would be re-traumatizing and the goal uh, intention is to uh, bring the healing to so rebuilding the trust so rebuilding the trust uh, when the young feels uh, um, that she was respected, given enough time, uh, that uh, the man, uh, the fingers, the lingam, whatever, uh, honor her, uh, it's time to get ready, uh, then every time it's a new beautiful experience uh, between the uh, body and the mind, the, it's a new neurotic path built that uh, says that sexuality could be nice, that the man uh, doesn't have to be pushy, uh, that the penetration doesn't have to be pain painful. Uh, so she is rebuilding the trust. And like, uh, you know, you go through the jungle, uh, when uh, you go first time, you have to do a path with machete very hard. Uh, but when you walk many times, uh, you, this path is easy to walk. Uh, and the same way, if this path is repeated, so every time when you give enough foreplay for the woman or give her a nice uh, yoni massage, uh, that um, will be uh, the yoni will be honored and given enough time. Every time it's uh, uh, this neurotic path uh, strengthening. So, so the woman start to associate the sexuality uh, with beautiful experience with. Uh, uh, rebuilding the trust with uh, um, uh, men honoring her time. So that's that's the main uh, uh, intention about uh, the 
uh, yoni massage. Uh, also, like yes, as I said, uh, uh, like the emotions are frozen in the body. So whatever happened in the past, uh, maybe it could be this unaware force insertion when uh, the woman felt pain, but. Uh, uh, the man was too horny and he doesn't know Tantra, so he doesn't know that to give the woman enough foreplay, so he rushed into it. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, maybe something more, more harder, even rape. All the trauma uh, it's stored very often in uh, the young. <coughs> so, yes, uh, people uh, admit again and again, people uh, try to kill uh, this. Uh, uh, Trauma, what is stored in the body, this uh, frozen emotions uh, through the talking therapy, and uh, yes, um, it's for many years uh, they go and uh, it just doesn't work uh, or work a little bit and then it's coming back and so, so yes, <coughs> the trauma what is uh, made to the body, it has to be healed also uh, through the body level. The other therapies, other methods can help very much, but uh, the body work has to be very essential and done. So that's um, why the, yes, uh, yoni massage can be, yes, uh, sometimes only way or any other, other body healing with the releasing of the emotions, the blockage, uh, it's uh, very essential. So that, that's why Tantra uh, sometimes is the way. So. Um, yes, all these frozen emotions uh, are stored uh, mainly uh, in the G-spot, but also could be in any other parts of the yoni. Uh, and uh, uh, by uh, touching them, those spo spots, uh, we feel uh, very often physical pain. So that's why the woman doesn't want to go into this uh, maybe position what stimulates uh, those spots and uh, choose some, for something else and um, uh, this physical pain very often triggers the emotional release uh, and the woman uh, uh, if she allow herself if the partner hold the space for her she will have this emotional release and uh, uh, after uh, this uh, uh, the uh, pain physical pain emotional pain it transform into the ecstasy so that's why, uh, like the G-spot, for example, uh, one of the most uh, healing point where most of the uh, trauma is storage, uh, is uh, uh, after the healing, one of the most ecstatic point. Um, so, so we will talk about it uh, more and more. Uh, and uh, that's how it goes. Uh, it's uh, also healing goes like, um, um, you know, it's the same. Um, method is used in the orgasmic birth what I highly recommend for future mothers uh, or uh, your friends whoever uh, so it's uh, uh, focusing uh, on the ecstasy during giving the birth and this helps uh, the woman sometimes to have uh, uh, one of the best uh, orgasmic experience in her life uh, during giving the birth that's mm -hmm. what makes the woman uh, uh, very uh, happy about uh, this uh, experience. Uh, she uh, recalled it in her memory this <coughs> as a, one of the best uh, day in her life. And that's very good uh, start for the baby and for the mother, for the new family. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, uh, she focused on the ecstasy and that helps to go her through the pain. And then in the end, the pain also uh, fits into the ecstasy and so and so on. So uh, uh, in the same way, we work uh, in the uh, yoni massage. Uh, we transform the pain. We focus on the ecstasy. And uh, uh, ecstasy, we uh, use a lot of clitoral stimulation to produce more ecstasy, to bring the woman close to the point no, of no return not over the point of no return because when she will lose uh, the sexual energy through clitoral organs it's kind of game over uh, and she is not excited anymore to continue uh, so it's just uh, doesn't work because ecstasy helps her to go through the pain either is uh, physical pain or emotional release uh, very often uh, 
uh, in this spots uh, what uh, are the healing spots Ex ecstasy is hidden behind this pain and uh, if you can feel already ecstasy there uh, you uh, uh, focus always on the ecstasy and that helps you to go through the physical and emotional pain uh, so uh, that's why we use sexual energy also yes yeah, sexual energy you know when it flows it uh, um, it supports you, you know, it nourish your chakras and support you uh, fully on to go through whatever you have to go through. Uh, so yes, um, that's uh, shortly about the idea of the healing. Uh, I would go uh, much deeper into it uh, while I will talk about especially the part uh, how to do the yoni massage. Uh, so now I will speak about uh, the uh, Tantric Yoni Anatomy. So I will use uh, these two drawings. Uh, so um, uh, this one, uh, here are the outer lips. So uh, outer lips uh, are, uh, is the flesh uh, on the outside of the Yoni, what is uh, very often, uh, if it's not shaped, uh, covered with the head. Yes? Uh, come closer, I cannot really... Uh, uh, no, uh, the weather will not give us time. <laughs> so, yes, uh, so it's covered um, with the uh, hairs usually. Uh, so it's uh, this outer flesh. Yes. It's uh, this outer flesh, yes? So basically in uh, Yoni massage, also we go... Uh, uh, from the more outside part to the more uh, inside part in uh, parts in general and from uh, uh, less exciting parts to the more exciting parts in gen general uh, so these are the uh, outer lips here is the anus, uh, here is uh, the belly, uh, here is uh, the clitoris and the hood uh, covering the clitoris. So this is the pearl, uh, the clitoris uh, pearl. And um, uh, here is the urinary hole. The, uh, this is the flower, the inner lips, uh, and this is the entrance uh, of the young. Yes, um, so uh, that's the uh, front view. And this is the uh, cut through. So if it would be like this, if I would be a woman, something like this. Uh, so here is the anus. Uh, uh, here is uh, the entrance of the yoni, inside of the yoni. Uh, here uh, is the urinary hole. And here is uh, the clitoris. Here is the belly. Yes? So, uh, and here are the different points. Uh, so I will talk uh, about each point uh, and I will uh, explain you the characteristics as much uh, as uh, it's important so the most ecstatic point uh, what uh, uh, everybody knows uh, it's uh, the clitoris uh, this little pearl uh, so at the beginning i would like to tell you that uh, this little pearl uh, it's uh, one of the most sensitive part of the human body on this little pearl uh, it's uh, 400 uh, thousands uh, nerve endings uh, there to uh, compare uh, for the man to have a clue uh, uh, at uh, the head of the lingam uh, it's only half of the nerve endings what is on this uh, small little pearl uh, so this uh, is to point to you out how uh, sensitive uh, is the clitoris all men knows how uh, <coughs> sensitive is the head of the lingam yes so imagine uh, like double of the uh, nerve endings uh, condensated on this uh, small pearl and then uh, you may imagine uh, how sensitive it is so this is all to point you out that uh, always approach the clitoris very softly delicate especially you don't know uh, this uh, clitoris uh, every woman can be individual and different Many of the women, uh, after a while, especially, uh, they may feel, uh, they may even like, they may ask you for hard rubbing, very pretty hard rubbing, and so. 
but you have to if you don't know about it uh, sure then you have to discover about <laughs> it and uh, so always start with the uh, soft uh, delicate approach yes so um, another thing about the clitoris yes you heard us in tantra very often that uh, we avoid the peak orgasm uh, what is the ejaculatory orgasm uh, and the clitoral orgasm uh, in case of the woman so uh, uh, <coughs> the, uh, yes the woman also lose the energy through the clitoral orgasm she doesn't lose so much as a man but still she lose uh, and uh, uh, yes, Tantra is not about losing. Uh, also, if you lose the energy, you don't have power to expand in love, grow in ecstasy, to uh, go with, through the healings, uh, liberations. It's just game over. Yeah. So you hear us very often to avoid the clitoral orgasm. Yes, but don't mistake it. Uh, 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 it's not about avoiding the clitoral stimulation. Later on, when uh, I will guide you through the all different uh, steps of uh, the massage, uh, how to do it, you will see that we use it actually <laughs> pretty 80-90% um, of the time. We use it clitoral stimulation to keep the woman on the high ecstasy, uh, to uh, keep her close to the point of no return, but not over the point of no return. This that she feels ecstatic uh, for a long time, it helps uh, her to activate uh, another point. Uh, very often the confusion what the women have and also some uh, macho scientists uh, try to prove uh, is that the woman doesn't have the G-spot. Uh, it's uh, to do because... Uh, uh, <coughs> The, uh, to activate the G-spot, even if it's healed uh, uh, and uh, are, uh, it, you don't have to go to the emotional release, uh, still, very often you have to activate it for... Uh, to, the woman has to be aroused uh, uh, on the high arousal, close to the point of no re return, sometimes for 20, 30 minutes. This, uh, in uh, average, uh, 7 minutes... Uh, uh, penetration uh, it's not possible so that's why the woman uh, never experience this and think oh I, I, I may not have it uh, it's just uh, some legend no every woman have it and uh, yes uh, uh, you just need longer stimulation that's what we also do through the yoni massage with the fingers we can uh, go on so yes, um, uh, so uh, uh, we uh, guide you to not to uh, go for the clitoral orgasm, but go for clitoral stimulation, mm -hmm. full on, a, a lot, to keep the woman high or on, on arousal. The other thing about, yes, uh, when we are uh, in the clitoral orgasm, also 20% uh, of the female population, so it's one... Uh, Woman from every fifth woman, yes, uh, never experience any orgasm, uh, never experience clitoral orgasm, or uh, experience it, it very rare, yes. So, this is huge number, yes. I wish at the rainbow, uh, it the statistics are much better, <laughs> but still, still. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, quite normal that the, uh, the that there are women among us that didn't have this bliss. Uh, so, for that woman, we do exception. Uh, learn experience. Uh, learn how to uh, receive it. How to uh, have it. Uh, and. Uh, as we call the clitoral and ejaculatory orgasm, uh, the kindergarten orgasm, and the other are a university, we say, go, you have to go first to the kindergarten, <laughs> but uh, don't stay all your life, uh, like most of the people do, yes? Go to the tantric uh, massages, go to the university. Every one of you may achieve the tantric orgasms. And that's what we also uh, guide you through this lecture, 
and to uh, all our courses. So, yes, um, uh, the other thing about the clitoris, uh, I'm uh, glad that uh, there is more and more awareness uh, uh, about this, uh, is that uh, uh, the clitoris is not just this little pearl under the hood. Uh, it's, uh, this little pearl is actually a small part of the clitoris. Uh, more, uh, bigger part of the clitoris is uh, uh, under the flesh, between the inner and the outer lips, and it's spread like a fork uh, around the um, inner lips. Uh, so, so it's um, it looks like this. You can see like those um, uh, images more and more often. Uh, thankful the internet communication. Uh, also, like uh, people make sculptures. Uh, it's a big uh, part of the art, and so so so. Uh, Yes, uh, so uh, that's why we do during the massage also the long strokes between the inner and the outer lips, and in that way we uh, stimulate the underflesh parts of the clitoris, what are very very new experience very often for the woman, and they are very very pleasurable. <laughs> so um, we'll speak about it later and the part of the how to do it uh, in the yoni massage. So that's um, about the clitoris, yes? So now we would go into the next uh, uh, famous uh, point, what is the G-spot. Uh, I mentioned it already a little bit before, because it's a very essential point. Uh, yes, as I said, it's the most healing point. So uh, the G-spot uh, location, it's... Uh, uh, when the woman is facing me uh, and uh, I curve uh, my finger, um, if I go uh, like halfway of my finger uh, and I press towards her belly button, so I do like this calm movement, uh, then uh, I can reach uh, the G spot. The G spot is easy to recognize because it has different surface uh, than. Um, all uh, the yoni. Uh, only the G-spot and the endpoint have different surface. The most of the uh, surface of the yoni is like a fleshy, slimy, uh, just uh, nothing is there. The G-spot uh, you feel different. It's close to the entrance, uh, so you do not mistake it with very deep point uh, of the endpoint. So it's close to the entrance. Sometimes when the woman push out the G-spot with the PC muscle. Um, or uh, have it closer, you can even see it when the, the inner lips are open. So it uh, feels uh, like uh, a sponge, it feels like uh, a button, it may feel like a nut, it may feel like a wound, but it always feels different than the other parts of the yon. So uh, yes, uh, maybe I uh, stay with the uh, the location uh, anatomy uh, I will, and I will continue more in the details. So another um, point um, is uh, orgasmic point um, is U point and U point uh, it's between the clitoris uh, and the urinary hole. That's why it's called U point. And uh, uh, massaging this point uh, together with the G spot it may give uh, the woman female ejaculation. What is uh, very good uh, for a woman to experience one of the intention of the mas tantric uh, yoni massage is uh, to actually uh, have this female ejaculation. So I will speak about it uh, soon. So uh, um, to follow the location. So end point is um, uh, the basically massaging the clitoris. Uh, it's called M point because uh, for the sound of the pleasure when the woman experiences it, it's like mm, yes, this um, when you eat this uh, organic fair trade vegan raw uh, shamanic uh, chocolate cake at the rainbow. Mm, so you make the sounds of pleasure. So uh, the M point is. Uh, um, Yes, it's basically massaging the cervix, and uh, as you see at this drawing, uh, usually it's uh, like a kind of uh, 
uh, uh, ring what is sticking uh, backwards uh, towards the entrance yes so uh, um, usually you feel it uh, uh, when you make uh, a fist uh, uh, and you make it uh, very strong um, then if you massage this ring here uh, then you can uh, uh, feel a kind of similar way the the cervix yes when uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> cervix is uh, closed then uh, you can uh, feel it as uh, your uh, fist is uh, strongly closed and uh, uh, hard uh, when uh, the uh, cervix is open uh, it feels much softer and uh, open uh, sometimes you may even uh, stick the finger in but never do it please uh, so uh, this uh, um, has to do very often with menstruation uh, so it's opening and closing uh, according to the menstruation cycle mm -hmm. but also uh, sometimes uh, if it's blocked uh, yes the woman cannot have a babies uh, so sometimes uh, maybe you hear uh, um, around you uh, in your family or friends uh, some uh, couple uh, they try very hard but the woman cannot have babies sometimes um, uh, the blocking the endpoint uh, can be very helpful so if she can uh, check uh, with the professional yoni masseur around that uh, maybe it can um, uh, give her this bliss uh, what she's uh, waiting for so uh, yes the uh, so uh, yes the endpoint and the g-spot have different surface yes so it's easy to recognize the endpoint is very very deep sometimes uh, it's not even possible to reach it with your fingers so sometimes you may use the crystal wounds or dildos or uh, uh, lingam if you can maintain for uh, 20 half an hour if you are tantric enough so so yes you use this uh, uh, yeah, uh, the endpoint uh, usually you deblock it by so-called hammering movements. Uh, so it's like uh, you hit this uh, ring uh, uh, twice per second, uh, and uh, yes, that's what uh, uh, deblock it create more and more ecstasy. That's why sometimes the woman have this expression of uh, "fuck me harder, fuck me deeper," uh, because. Uh, that's what they experience, they like it, so so that's what they're asking for, the uh, end point very often, to be hammered. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, there is a woman, I feel like with my fingers, I can't reach it. It's uh, yes, deep, right? uh, yes, for the one, the, you know, like, uh, uh, for the woman, it's not easy to it's reach it. Point. The men uh, have to give the uh, uh, young massage very often. That also helps you to go deal with the pain. Uh, yes, uh, so, so uh, Trishma show you some uh, some uh, uh, positions where you can uh, maybe reach it, uh, but uh, yes, uh, sometimes you need to use uh, uh, the fingers of the man, or uh, yes, uh, as I said, crystal wounds, uh, the dildos, uh, the toys are there for children. We are children, <laughs> so let's play. Yeah, it's nothing wrong. It's nothing wrong with using any instruments, you know, like uh, to um, as much you feel pleasure and bliss, uh, and it uplift you. That's great. So, yes, uh, the A point uh, and the E point you cannot find uh, through uh, the basically uh, exact uh, feeling of the location. You have to uh, kind of, you know, more or less where they are. And usually you recognize the location of those points by uh, over-exaggerated pain, uh, what could be connected with the uh, emotional release when the point needs to be healed, or there is amazing ecstasy there, if it's already healed and activated. Yes? So, um, uh, yes. Uh, when you feel around this area very deep uh, behind the uh, G spot, uh, some uh, uh, unexpected, very nice ecstasy, uh, when you curve the fingers towards the belly, that's probably the A point. 
and uh, when you uh, to, uh, twist your fingers 180 degrees uh, and you uh, curve your fingers towards uh, the back then that's probably the E pole what is uh, sometimes from my experience very often connected to the emotion of the fear if it needs to be healed yes um, otherwise it have great ecstasy so that's um, that's how you recognize it yes the surface of the those points is uh, like smooth and fleshy like all surface of the yoni uh, beside of the g spot and m point so you recognize it only through the sensation of the woman yeah so you may communicate yes that's it you know that's the point you know like and then you kind of know where it is in her uh, young okay that's about the location i will explain you now more about uh, mainly the g-spot uh, and uh, what follows also the female ejaculation and so on and so on so uh, <coughs> as i said many times uh, the g-spot is the most healing uh, um, yes, you massage it uh, with the so-called cam uh, strokes, uh, so twice per second, again, like fiery uh, energy. Uh, if uh, the woman uh, is ready and allow you to put the two fingers, you may do it like a cam uh, movement, but it's, uh, I call it uh, 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 galloping upside down. Uh, so uh, that's the uh, main way of stroking it uh, so yes um, uh, the woman who experienced uh, the g-spot healing uh, they say it's uh, one of the best uh, days in their life very often uh, because uh, it uh, transform uh, the pain a lot of pain a lot of uh, um, sexual traumas prejudices towards men towards penetration towards uh, sexuality towards uh, love making uh, uh, and it transform into like freedom liberation uh, from all these uh, prejudices all these things would hold you back and uh, some uh, woman described it very nicely uh, one woman describe it as a uh, the uh, uh, being born new, like uh, being reborn, uh, living uh, all the past and starting the new life. Another woman beautifully expressed it uh, that uh, she not only remove uh, the uh, bars in uh, the cage of uh, prejudices of uh, emotions were, were holding uh, her back uh, she not only uh, opened this cage but uh, she got the f uh, wings of passion uh, and ecstasy that she can fly uh, sky high and the uh, sky is not the limit uh, so basically during the healing session uh, if you're blessed uh, you may just experience that you know like that uh, yes uh, you get rid of all the emotions and you get the best uh, never-ending uh, tantric uh, g-spot orgasm yes so 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 uh, all the like um, the uh, clitoral orgasm and uh, ejaculatory orgasm they are the only orgasms uh, what uh, you lose the energy yes they are co called explosive orgasms because the energy explodes and um, you lose the energy yes uh, so uh, uh, the other orgasms like g-spot any other orgasm are uh, uh, like this it goes up 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 it goes wave and wave and wave uh, like uh, and you don't lose the energy sometimes uh, i had uh, the woman expressing uh, after the uh, yoni massage uh, or uh, love making uh, they s or they express you know like uh, uh, that they uh, what they felt uh, they say they sometimes saying like hey uh, you know like i had this great ecstasy wow you know like 
I don't know where I was like, but it was never, I never experienced uh, something like this. It was amazing, like, wow. And so like, I, I, I you know, I, I want to experience it again. It's so good, so good. And I feel so good now. I feel so energized and so, and I, you know, the, like it felt better than ever and so and so. But you know what? I didn't have orgasm. You know, like people think that uh, the orgasm is the only click. when you lose the energy. Yes. No, no, no. With this orgasm, it goes up and up and up. It's like never-ending story, and every wave is higher and higher and higher. So, so yes, uh, um, yeah, you. Uh, it's uh, it's beautiful. So, yes, uh, only the if you do not understand something, if it's relevant question. Very please. important question for me, though. Important, yes, yeah, but okay, important can wait. I know it. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there any sequence which builds up on each other to go through this point, like A, B, like a sequence like we do with I guide you later. So okay. this was not a relevant point. What it's about to, you know, please only now. The, I, I guide through all the things. Maybe you will get yeah. answer without interrupting the flow. Really. Uh, and yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, Yes. Uh, so so so. Uh, yes, uh, the G spot. Yes, it goes on and on and on. Uh, afterwards, you know, like it's like never-ending story. Uh, after you heal it, uh, it's uh, uh, getting activated every time when uh, you uh, activate it. Uh, sometimes, as I said, even if it's healed, sometimes you need 20, 30 minutes to activate it. Uh, and but uh, every time when it's activated. The body it's um, uh, like uh, uh, more open for receiving the ecstasy of it. So the woman who already had a few uh, G spot orgasms, uh, they may uh, have it uh, after one touch already the full ecstasy and going on the waves. Yes. So uh, yes, uh, the G spot co uh, massaging connected uh, with uh, uh, stimulating the O point. Uh, it gives uh, the so-called female ejaculations. And female ejaculation have to do with the uh, men's ejaculation only word, nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, for the woman to experience the female ejaculation is very good. Very often, especially if uh, the G-spot still needs healing, uh, the uh, women experience the release of the emotions uh, together with the ejaculation. <coughs> so very often, like the intention of the uh, uh, tantric yoni massage is uh, to have this ejaculation. Uh, not only one, but maybe man, many. Like uh, uh, the woman may experience uh, one after another. And as I said, every time is higher and higher orgasm. Uh, so, um, Yes, uh, the ejaculation may vary from a uh, few drops that actually you, uh, as a masseur or masseuse, uh, you can feel uh, only through the woman's reactions uh, and you are not very sure because there is a lot of uh, lubrication, uh, the uh, ecstatic juices uh, already. So uh, recognize these uh, few drops in it, like it's uh, not always possible. Um, but it cost also uh, can uh, be like two uh, <coughs> cups of the liquid. And uh, each ejaculation can vary also between themselves. Uh, so, um, yes, uh, the most important thing uh, is that uh, the woman very often also may experience the uh, female ejaculation during the lovemaking. But they very often uh, stop it for, uh, I would say, um, silly reasons. Uh, they don't want to wait. They are ashamed to uh, pee because they think that that's pee. Yes, they don't want to wet the mattress. They don't want to make mess and so. They, 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 they uh, think that they, that's pee because it feels like uh, uh, wanting to pee. But remember this: what I uh, now say. It's not possible that suddenly you want to pee when you're on high arousal. So whenever it happens that suddenly you want to pee while you on high arousal, it means the ejaculation is knocking to the door. And uh, so uh, 
push it out as you would do it with uh, uh, peeing it out, yes, um, and allow it to, to happen. Believe me, even if you will have to clean uh, uh, after the materials uh, and uh, uh, the sheets, uh, you would be very uh, thankful that you did it to yourself. Because the release of the emotions, the orgasm you uh, may follow with this or uh, in the same time is really much worthy than uh, cleaning after. The U point it's the urinary tract? Uh, it's not urinary tract, but cl it's very below, close. Above? Uh, it's uh, above the urinary uh, hole. Yes, so basically when you massage uh, the uh, clitoral, uh, clitoris uh, with the stroke uh, up and down, then uh, usually you also massage the open, uh, 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 and you massage together with the G spot, and that's what can uh, create the uh, female ejaculation. So uh, yes, uh, is it uh, P or it's another substance like? It's a, another substance. It's called okay. Amrita. It's a sacred nectar, ah, uh, nectar. and so yes. uh, so it's beautiful. It's. Uh, uh, the warriors used to get it from the priestesses to get uh, more powerful, uh -huh. so it is powerful. So it's, the Amerita, uh, it's not uh, consuming energy? No, it's, uh, this ejaculation doesn't consume energy. Only uh, if uh, it uh, happened with the uh, release of the emotions, sometimes of course, so if you cry for half an hour, uh, you, it costs you some energy, yes? But uh, it's actually ejaculation itself. It doesn't, uh, it's uh, actually very often the woman feel higher because she just got the wave of uh, ecstasy, orgasm, energy. So yes, uh, that's, that's, uh, um, yes, I will tell you more about the G-spot, how we heal it exactly step by step, uh, uh, how we do deal with uh, everything. Uh, uh, later, at the practical part of this, um, when we talk about uh, the theory about practice, uh, how to do it. So that's that's the G spot. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, um, so basically, I told you everything about uh, the points uh, and so on. Uh, yeah. So now I will explain you how how we do the massage. Yeah, step by step. So, um, yes, uh, I will use mainly this. Uh, so, uh, as uh, you train already yesterday and today, uh, we the yoni massage and the linga massage, by the way, too, is part of the neotantric massage, mm -hmm. what includes full body massage, what we already practiced uh, yesterday and today. And, uh, <coughs> uh, yes, so we massage all the body, to uh, prepare, to uh, uh, build up the energy, ecstasy, and uh, uh, to also open the channels that the energy flows easily, uh, so it's not accumulating here, but uh, all the meridians, all the channels, all the body is open to receive uh, it uh, uh, more smoothly, yes? So, uh, uh, As uh, with body, we go from the more outside parts in general uh, to the more inner parts. As um, uh, we go from the less ecstatic to the more ecstatic parts in general. Uh, then with Yoni uh, and Lingam, by the way, too, uh, also we do the same. We go from more outer parts to the more inner and from less ecstatic to the more uh, ecstatic in general. So. We will uh, continue with, like, we start with the groins, and usually we uh, do many strokes have tendency that uh, we start from the bottom and we continue, uh, like, uh, we go to the top and then we continue again from the bottom. And then we do, uh, so, so that's very often tendency of the strokes. So, um, First, we massage the groins. The groins is the part between uh, your um, uh, pelvis, your torso, and your legs, where the legs are ending. I call uh, you massage the uh, underwear line. So uh, usually the underwear shows you the 
uh, that line of the groin. So uh, first you massage like uh, the you stroke with uh, these uh, parts of the hands uh, over the groins. So up and down. And then uh, um, we your thumbs uh, at the bottom of the groins. Uh, so uh, about uh, uh, around uh, the uh, area of the perineum muscle, you uh, press very hard and you circulate. Um, and uh, you circulate there. Press hard that you feel the sitting bones. And then uh, when I guide you, we go one centimeter up and you press uh, there, <coughs> circulate. It's a uh, two hours class. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, um, you press it, yes? And uh, you press it hard to feel the sitting bones. And uh, you press it again uh, up one centimeter. And uh, until you reach uh, the tendon here, um, so it's not a bone, but it feels like a bone. Mm -hmm. And so you don't go over this uh, tendon. Uh, you just start again from the bottom. Yes, and you continue like this. And then uh, in some moment, I will guide you to... Yeah, uh, uh, while you do the um, things with the thumbs, in the same time, uh, from the above, uh, you massage the above the pubic bone, uh, uh, above the venous field. <laughs> so the uh, line where the hairs are growing usually, the pubic hairs are growing. So uh, yes, the drawing is a much bigger than reality. So, but usually you are able to reach with the three, four fingers. Uh, uh, so in the same time when you massage the gr uh, groins with the the fingers with the thumbs, yes. So then uh, we will go into massaging the outer lips. So outer lips, uh, we massage first with the closing uh, them. So we, with three fingers, we squeeze the from the bottom part, and we squeeze them together, and everything what is between the outer lips, and then we uh, rotate like this. And uh, while we squeeze, so basically we massage everything what is between the outer lips. And then we go again, one centimeter up and rotate again, like for a while. And then when I guide you one centimeter up and we continue like this till we reach the level of the clitoris. Um, and then we start again from the bottom. And then we continue till I guide you. Okay, so we close the outer lips, yes? So now we're going to open outer lips. So with the pointing finger and the thumb, we uh, grab the flesh of the outer lips uh, and we pull it apart. So we opening uh, the lips and at the same time, we uh, roll the outer lip flesh between our fingers, pointing finger and the thumb of both hands. And then we go again, uh, one centimeter up and we do the same, pulling apart, rolling between our fingers. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we continue like this, uh, <coughs> centimeter after centimeter, while after while, till we reach the level of the clitoris, and then we start again from the bottom. And you continue like this, uh, till I guide you <coughs> to go for the next. So when the outer lips are open, with uh, preferably left uh, hand, you uh, hold the, them open, uh, you uh, have your fingers upside down uh, and uh, you firmly uh, press to the pubic bones, to the bones, uh, that, that you can hold the, the, the flesh of the outer lips. And then uh, when you hold uh, it open, uh, with long strokes, we call it Casanova strokes, you go up and down to massage uh, the place between uh, your outer lips and your inner lips. So uh, 
these are called Casanova strokes. Uh, uh, I guess um, that would make him uh, the best mm -hmm. lover. Uh, yeah. uh, he was apparently uh, impotent, but still, with these strokes, he can manage, you know, like so. <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's a joke, but I like it is, uh, uh, to be true. <coughs> so you can modify these uh, long strokes uh, um, with the slalom <coughs> strokes or with the zigzag strokes. Yes, so I will guide you through all the steps. Um, even if your fingers are nicely polished uh, and smooth and so, uh, that's what I require from every masseuse uh, for tomorrow. Uh, polish, very good. Uh, the, in the middle, always there is nail cutter and uh, polisher. The woman test your uh, giver if it's perfect uh, done. <laughs> or you can test yourself by scratching your upper part of the mouth. If it uh, can be better, then do it better. <laughs> so, um, yes, um, you... <coughs> Uh, after this uh, Casanova strokes, uh, we go with the big Tour de France, uh, it's called. Uh, so uh, you cir <laughs> circulate around the flower, around the inner lips, um, with kind of serpent movement, yes? Mm -hmm. So you make small circles, but also the big clockwise circle around the inner lips. So basically, massaging those parts, it's uh, all the time massaging the under flesh part of the clitoris. With you one get, finger, you so make this. Uh... You uh, with one finger, yes. Mm -hmm. So with two other, you hold the yoni open. So then we would do the same sequence uh, on the inner lips. So we would close and open the inner lips uh, and do the strokes. Uh, but with the inner lips, they are more sensitive, yes, the, also the flower is uh, much smaller, so uh, we do with two fingers and we are more delicate. So the woman, if something goes uh, too much, you can always raise the palm to slow down. And also very important that, um, um, yes, if some, like, the, you know, like, it's all about building up the ecstasy, and open up the uh, yoni uh, and rebuilding the trust. Mm -hmm. If there are some strokes, what would be annoying for you, uh, disturbing, that's out of order, you may also say, okay, uh, we may skip this part. You understand? Mm -hmm. So so whenever it feels, because we don't want to you your ecstasy to go down because something is annoying or uh, painful too much or irritating too much. Mm -hmm. We like to go deeper, so so some you uh, the woman guides. The woman is the goddess. You follow uh, my instructions, but you follow uh, the, her instructions first. But uh, yes, uh, about the instruction, don't go too f uh, much into the mind explanation and so. Just let it flow and be very nice, constructive criticism. Uh, the man do his best, believe me. So with two fingers you uh, may squeeze and rotate it between the uh, fingers and then you go only half centimeter this time because the inner lips are smaller. And then you continue like this, uh, half centimeter, half centimeter, till the level of the clitoris and then you start again from the bottom. So that was like squeezing and uh, closing the yoni, uh, the inner lips. And then uh, after closing we're gonna open it. So, uh, uh, with again uh, your pointing finger and the thumb, you grab uh, the two sides of the <coughs> flower, the inner lips, and you spread it gently <coughs> apart. Uh, don't tear uh, apart, but just open apart. And uh, with, in the same time, you may uh, gently rotating and squeezing uh, between your uh, pointing and the thumb finger. And you continue, half centimeter up, half centimeter up, you keep opening and rolling up till the level of clitoris, then you from again from the bottom. And then I'm um, <coughs> going to guide you, the uh, inner lips are open again with two fingers. You do your best, sometimes uh, the, ju uh, the young is juicy and of course you put all, also a lot of uh, coconut oil. It's not easy, so that's why it's good to do a rather firm, uh, uh, like uh, um, cold. Uh, them apart and then you go again with the long strokes even if your uh, nails are polished very good 
you always try to avoid the nail part of the uh, nails yes so you uh, use also especially when you are inside you always uh, make it a habit to use the softer parts of your fingers yes M most of the time so you go up and down if there is enough space you may experiment with the zigzag and with the uh, slalom I will guide you through all the steps so then we do the small tour de France so we go around the entrance we don't go inside yet that would be a very beautiful process what uh, I call yoni mapping we call yoni mapping so um, you go a small serpent around the entrance and you go up from one side and down from the other side? Yes, yes, like okay. circling, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Always uh, clockwise? Uh, you, I would say clockwise, yeah. Usually women have clockwise. So, uh, yes, uh, then uh, we go uh, to the clitoris. So, uh, with the clitoris we start like this. We pull the hood down and then we start to massaging um, indirectly the clitoris yes so under the hood we roll the hood uh, between our fingers and then we may feel gently that there is like this um, piece uh, under the flesh and uh, that's the the, the uh, pearl of the clitoris uh, you go under the flesh or above 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 you pull the flesh down and you massage just the uh, flesh of the uh, hood, yes, and afterwards, after a while, when I guide you, uh, we pull the hood up, and then we can see the beautiful pearl there. And then, uh, yes, uh, we will explore. We say hello to uh, the clitoris and see you later. Basically, we will explore different strokes uh, of the clitoris uh, to. Um, uh, yes, uh, to figure out what we may best efficient use it do, during the through the all massage. So we start with the most popular stroke. Uh, what women like is side to side. Yes. Then uh, the second popular stroke, uh, the circle. And with the circle, you can cha 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 change the direction because for some women it's very crucial which uh, direction you go. You know. Uh, for some, uh, uh, like one direction feels good, another not so good, you know, so <coughs> could be. And then uh, the third popular stroke is uh, up and down, yes? And then you can check uh, another variations also, the diagonal, another diagonal, the uh, horizontal zigzag. Flower. The vertical zigzag. So check. Uh, we will have time for each uh, maybe minute or something. And then after uh, exploring all the strokes, we say uh, to the clitoris, "See you later." And then we go to the yoni mapping. Mm -hmm. So yoni mapping by itself is very beautiful uh, technique. What I would recommend for. Uh, uh, the long-lasting couples uh, because you have time uh, with this and in that way by yoni mapping is a very gentle way of uh, uh, approaching the yoni and giving a little bit little bit healing everywhere a little bit healing everywhere so it's not so intense as uh, we guide you today to, to go into the point uh, like g-spot uh, and uh, heal that point uh, 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 and have the very strong emotional release but it's like um, slowly like maybe every day every week little bit of uh, rebuilding the trust uh, and uh, approaching the young so 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 it's uh, pretty safe you, you don't have to be therapist to this to do this uh, but uh, uh, it's also like on the long slow long approach it heal the all young uh, like uh, yes uh, bring their more ecstasy and feeling and so so um, uh, yoni mapping it's a very slow way to enter the yoni 
uh, and also like what we use as a therapist uh, it's uh, di uh, uh, to diagnose you know like uh, uh, as a healers uh, to diagnose where is the pain where is ecstasy what ecstasy i can use uh, inside the instead of using only the clitoral stimulation <laughs> so, so 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 yes uh, what are the ecstatic points and what are the points what needs to be healing so um yes um we do it like this uh, imagine that this is clock yes here is the uh, 12 here is the 3 here is the 6 here is the 9 yes and uh, we start from the outside ring so basically we massage the same parts what we did uh, during the uh, small tour de france around the entrance so we do not enter yet yes so uh, we just massaging on the outer side of the entrance and we start we uh, place our finger at the bottom of the entrance on our six and then we start swinging around our six so the uh, six hour is in the center so we swing from the hour four till eight yes and then when i guide you we start to swing around our nine so uh, from seven eleven that's where the name is coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, around the, uh, our nine. And then uh, uh, when I guide you, we uh, go further. We uh, stroke around our six, uh, 12. So from uh, the 10 till 2. And then again, when I guide you, we go swing from uh, around our three, so from uh, one till uh, five. And then uh, when we finish the clock, we go back to our six. And this is the most crucial moment in the entire massage. It's a test for you. If you are the, again, ego tripper who need to do this massage or you are a real healer. So uh, when you are real here, uh, you feel if the woman is uh, still not ready, still blocked, you never push your finger in. Yes, you never force your finger in. This is the essential lesson of this whole class in all your life. Yes, if you will apply to this, most of the women <coughs> would be much more happy and the humanity it would become a better place. <laughs> So you do not push your finger in, you feel. If the yoni is open, if she is juicy and it slides very easily in, yes, then you slide just two centimeters in. If, she, if you feel any resistance, you just start again with the clitoral stimulation. During all yoni mapping, if everything goes smoothly, you don't do the clitoral stimulation because we want to recognize clearly where are the ecstatic points and where are the uh, uh, triggering points, yes? And clitoral stimulation gives us a little bit so strong uh, ecstasy that we may miss some ecstasy mm -hmm. from the other points, mm -hmm. yes? So we don't want to uh, be affected with our kind of diagnose uh, uh, or about the insight of the yoni. So, but when the yoni is you feel that she's closed she's not ready yet then we starting massaging the clitoris to open her up to bring the arousal mode uh, that uh, she will open yes she will start to lubricate and she would uh, uh, open the flower so you repeat even I go, because I have to guide all the group, if I, uh, I go and guide already the people inside, yes, you follow the, instru uh, the instruction of the yoni, the yoni feelings above my instructions. Please. Uh -huh. Yes, the yoni, the woman, is the first teacher in this. Yes? And what about asking? So, uh, on the mental level, 
the woman can be feeling ready. That's where abuse of, that's, you know, about the healing. It's also important that the woman start to heal her relationship between her body and the mind, because the mind very often allowed this to happen, unaware, but still that the mind made the decision, okay. The mind didn't say, hey, I'm not ready yet. Uh, so, so, so this is important. That, that uh, it's also about rebuilding the uh, it's always good to ask yes but uh, uh, remember this the yoni feeling mm. this is the most important so you have to feel like if it goes smoothly in but if not you just go on uh, yeah. that would happen with the uh, oil massage if you <laughs> so better eat it than uh, because the dog eat it now I don't know if you oh. want to <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. So, uh, if uh, she's uh, close, yes, usually she's close uh, at the entrance, yes. So, you repeat the, uh, we, I call it zero circle, yes. Uh, so, zero ring at the entrance. Then you have first ring, second ring, third ring, and the fourth ring. Sometimes four <laughs> ring or sometimes three rings. Yes, so this uh, is, uh, we're gonna uh, young him up all the rings, af one after another. So, uh, if the young was blocked at the um, zero ring, yes, you keep, uh, start simulating the clitoris, and you swing, you repeat the zero ring, yes? So on the entrance, not entering the in in inside, you repeat, <coughs> yes? And if you have to repeat, the zero ring like the on the entrance uh, through all the session while everyone maybe would be busy already with the g-spot healing and so for the woman would be uh, much better healing that you will push your fingers in yes some of the women need more time some of the youngies are need more time so we giving here the time we don't <coughs> rush in that's what we want to liberate ourselves from so, yes, um, you uh, probably, most probably, um, after uh, stimulating the clitoris and repeating the ring, uh, after the uh, repeating, uh, the yoni would be open and so. But if you have to repeat it twice uh, or all session, just do it, let her enjoy the clitoral stimulation and uh, you repeat the ring. If uh, the woman is... Uh, uh, already open and uh, ready so you swing around our six yes and then uh, uh, when I guide you uh, we go to the nine so you swing around our nine then when I guide you we swing uh, around our 12 and then when I guide you we swing around our three very often when you are inside Sometimes for the hour three, you have to change the position of your hand, yes? So then you around hour three, then you finish around uh, on the six, and then you ask the woman to pull you in with her PC muscle. Uh, so uh, if her PC muscle are strong enough, and if she can give her a little bit time, that she can translate this message to her body, and she can pull you in with her PC muscle, so if she pulls you in, uh, you don't uh, allow the finger fully in, but you just go another two centimeters, two, three centimeters. And then we will start swinging again. Uh, so, so, yes, at the second ring. First ring is uh, two at the centimeters? First ring, uh, yeah, first ring you have to feel it because it's she like cannot pull you. What? It's inside two centimeters? Two, three centimeters, yes. So, yes, it's uh, hard to say because uh, usually the longer uh, women uh, are having longer yonis. Uh, and also depends, uh, it's ano like individual anatomy. Also of your fingers or whatever. And just one finger or two fingers sometimes? Uh, no, you start with the one finger. And after yoni mapping, when you go with the full ecstasy, G-spot stimulation and so, then if you feel that, okay, there can go uh, the second finger, then you go with the um, second finger. So, yes, uh, when she pulls you in, that's the best uh, uh, invitation from her. 
Yes, that means uh, actually Herioni uh, inv invites you in. Her body is inviting you in. Uh, some of the women uh, have not so developed or can, they cannot kind of like translate it to the body. So uh, if it not, doesn't happen, but uh, probably when you are at the end, you can slightly, uh, uh, easily uh, slide yourself to the next ring. And then we continue with uh, swinging on our six and or further on like nine i guide you through all the steps so we repeat the same clock uh, on the second ring on the second ring at the 12th hour you may already start to feel the uh, different surface uh, sometimes on the first ring sometimes uh, so so yes uh, and that the g-spot uh, the woman can feel also sensation maybe some triggers already maybe ecstasy so uh, uh, and then we go to the third ring. Uh, sometimes people do the bigger steps, so maybe there would be only three, ring, three rings uh, uh, and z the zero ring. Yes. So uh, when you in the last ring, the even either is fourth or third. Um, uh, yes, you can experience the ecstasy of the A point, the ecstasy of the E point, uh, and then you can feel already that when you massage there at the bottom of the yoni. That there is something around uh, uh, sticking uh, backward towards the. That's the end point. The end point we will massage um, as the last. So uh, yes, uh, you uh, uh, for the yoni mapping reason we massage uh, uh, softly, just uh, like this, just uh, exploring how does it feel and so. And then after yoni mapping, uh, we all go. Uh, to the uh, to massaging the G spot, so uh, um, I feel like this is the most uh, probable uh, uh, point what needs to be healed. Uh, so we we'll go all uh, to the G spot uh, massaging, and you massage with one finger. You ma do it like this, and that's maybe you know if uh, the woman feels uh, exciting and you feel that she's open and juicy and she can. Uh, uh, enjoy the second finger uh, you may ask her if she is okay with putting the second finger uh, very slowly you bring your uh, pointing finger uh, you don't uh, uh, detach completely but you're still in yes and then you very slowly very gently you enter with the second thing you uh, saw how slow we took time to enter with the first finger so uh, almost like uh, very gently slowly uh, you enter the second finger yes so we and with the two fingers mm -hmm. you may do the galloping uh, it's only uh, 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 relevant questions so, yeah, so it's, it's a, <coughs> we do the m before the g or after the m we do only to uh, the as a part as a part uh, as a part of the yoni mapping yes okay. so yes um uh, then we go back into the G-spot and the G-spot we go give the full healing to the G-spot. Yes, so uh, we gonna massage it for uh, maybe 20, 30 minutes focus only on the G-spot. Maybe longer depends from the energy of the group in general. So make yourself as much comfortable as possible. Uh, you know, if you do it like this, maintaining this position would be very hard for you. But so support yourself with the body that your uh, hand feel relaxed, supported, and then it's easy for you. Uh, do any position, change the position. Uh, you know, like sometimes I do it like this, and it's all good. You know, it's uh, all beautiful. So, so uh, if you feel any tension, uh, change the position. If you're changing the position, you are staying inside the yoni, and be aware about that. Um, you know, every entering and uh, uh, coming back, uh, uh, going out and coming back, it's a bit sometimes uh, irritating for the yoni. So you always stay inside. Uh, be aware about that when you uh, change the position, because uh, if you go and you like, you are inside of her. You can, you know, like make yeah. even uh, real wounds if you uh, uh, walk. Too rough and so yes so be uh, cautious about that so um, 
how do we do the healing? Yes, if it happens, and so how we deal with everything? Yes. So when we start the uh, G spot stimulation, in the same time we finish the yoni mapping, we start also the clitoral stimulation. Basically, we keep the woman on full arousal. So uh, we explore which stroke was the best, uh, and we do the best way possible the uh, clitoral stimulation non-stop. And the woman guides us with their hands. Uh, this means slow down, uh, and this means stop immediately, yes? So, uh, when the woman feels excited, the uh, reasons are obvious. Uh, when she rides the palm, means that she is coming close to the point of no return. Yes, uh, she's excited, her body is ah, ah, ah. Definitely she's not in the process of pain, of release. Uh, she feels ecstasy, happiness, yes? So, she, when she's coming uh, to the point of uh, close, uh, the point of no return, yes? This is the intention, yes? Uh, you know, like, as I said, if you are one of the fifth, Yes, you can say this, okay, I never experienced uh, clitoral orgasm, uh, we go for it. And you, uh, you have our blessing. But if you um, are uh, experiencing uh, easily and you know how to experience it, whatever, then <coughs> really, this is Tantra. This is not uh, keeping you uh, addicted with the... Uh, keeping on the uh, having the clitoral orgasm uh, is uh, uh, giving to you. It's, this is not another kind of kink, uh, uh, nothing wrong with the kink, but it's about bringing the energy up, not to losing it. This is very essential in Tantra. So the, we keep this intention and we honest 